What is up guys, Alex here back with another video and in this video we're going to be looking at what is COVID-19 or the coronavirus. Um, so the COVID-19 virus is a respiratory virus. It's kind of like the flu. It's the respiratory version of the flu and respiratory just means lungs and uh, everything else. Um, the people that are most at risk of getting it are people with weakened immune systems, underlying health issues, and I think that's it. Um, like heart problems and maybe you only have one lung. Um, but yeah, that's the people that are most at risk getting it. Oh, and people with weakened immune systems. So there's three kinds of people that are most at risk of getting it. Um, <clears throat> So, COVID-19, like I said, is a virus that affects the um, lungs and the heart and the airways. Anything that has to do with breathing is affected. Um, the immune system is affected. And um, so, yeah, um, read the description. Um, uh, I'll put some things in there, too. Um, so, how can you avoid attracting COVID-19? Well, the first thing you can do is sanitize your hands. Wash your hands a lot um, with soap and water. If you don't have soap and water, use um, disinfectant wipes or uh, hand sanitizer. And, um, yeah, so... Those are some of the ways that you can avoid getting it through touching stuff. Now, if you maintain social distancing um, and wear a mask, um, you could avoid getting it through airborne particles. It's mostly through touch, but I've heard that if you breathe it in, it can mess you up too. Not as bad, but if you touch something with a virus on it and then touch any part of your face or anything... Um, then it can really mess you up. Uh, there's currently, I'd say about 5,500 cases in Texas. Uh, there's like 300 cases in Oklahoma. Um, there's thousands. There's tens of thousands of cases in New York. New York is one of the harder hit states. And if you live in New York, stay at home. Please, stay at home, wash your hands, if you need something, I've heard that they will deliver it to you, I'm not exactly sure if these facts are true, but this is just what I've heard, I'm going based off rumors and stuff, stuff and based off what I've heard on the news, and uh, Jack has made a video on this, and a lot of other YouTubers have made videos on this, so I thought I might as well make one, you know, just to be a part of the YouTube community. Um, again, I'm not trying to steal anyone's idea, but this has been on everyone's channel. There's at least one or two videos on COVID-19 on everyone's channel. Um, but yeah, COVID-19 is a very serious, um, thing. It's, it can be deadly for, uh, people with weakened immune systems or underlying health issues, uh, like myself. I would be considered an underlying health issue. I'm not going to go into detail about it, but, um, yeah. So, if you have any questions about COVID-19, please leave them in the comments down below, and I will answer your questions, uh, whichever questions I get, uh, in the next video. Um, but, you know, if you stay inside and maintain six feet of social distancing, you should avoid getting it. Um, wipe down or disinfect your counters, disinfect everything. Uh, you know, go out and, well, don't go out, but a lot of people in my area are freaking out. I have a Walmart in my area. It's empty. Like, the Walmart in my area is completely bone dry. They have a select few pieces of meat, maybe a a roll or two of toilet paper, a case of toilet paper, and, you know, you know, 
there was there was a couple of other things missing, but Walmart's pretty much empty, and they they started this whole thing. I I just think the country's overreacting, but they started this whole thing where they had to take the temperatures of the people that go into Walmart, just the employees. I don't know if they're doing it for the customers, but you know I don't I don't know if they should. But they're only allowing like fifty people in Walmart at a time, or is it some other store? I think that's some other store. But Walmart's only allowing a certain number of items to be bought. Uh, only allowing a certain number of people to be in the stores at one time uh, to avoid tra attracting the COVID-19 virus. And um, a little tip, I don't know if you guys know this, but apparently the virus has a harder time in colder climates. This is just what I've heard. I'm not exactly sure if any of this is ac accurate, but this is just what I've heard. The virus has a harder time uh, surviving in colder environments. That doesn't mean crankle your AC all the way down to as low as it can go. That's just going to ruin your bill. But, um, yeah. So, the... It lives, uh, in warmer climates. It has a hard time struggling in colder climates. And... Yeah. It... it, it viruses are so weird. I got the flu one time twice in... I got the flu twice in one year. One time. That was like in 2016? 17? I don't know. I didn't have this channel when I started, when I got the flu twice in one year. But uh, I will keep you all updated on this whole thing. Uh, I don't know when gameplay content's gonna be back, but uh, it's not gonna be for a while. And I'll try to get back to daily uploads, but I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so. Um, yeah, so it can live in the air for, I think maybe three hours uh i know for a fact it can maybe 48 hours it might be able to live in the air for 48 hours i know it can live on hard surfaces for three days and um yeah so and some people that have covid19 don't even show any symptoms so you could have it i'm not trying to scare anyone i'm just saying you could have it and you wouldn't even know unless you have symptoms like a high fever symptoms for covid19 are a high fever um, trouble breathing. Uh, I think throwing up is one of them. I'm not really sure. But you have to have a high fever of at least 104 plus to, for several days, maybe even a week, before you can diagnose COVID-19 as the culprit. Um, I think I had it at one point, but I'm not really sure. I had like a, a little cough. I think I was developing pneumonia. But uh, I don't. I don't really know. I, I took some antibiotics and I'm fine. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you do want to learn more on COVID-19, check out uh, the uh, description. I won't leave any links in there, but I'll leave a, a list of uh, things that you know COVID-19 uh, symptom. I'll leave the list of COVID-19 symptoms in the description. So check that out if you want to learn more. There's also the uh, CDC, the Center for Disease. Uh, control there's uh, go check out Jack Septicai's channel he made a video on this uh, not too long ago uh, the infographic show made tons of videos on this um, but yeah those are all really great channels to um, get your information from I don't know how much of it is accurate but Jack Septicai did like an 11 hour live stream so yeah it was ridiculous uh, I don't know what he did it for I think it was to raise money I tuned in for a little bit but uh yeah so go check out those uh i can't leave a link in the description but if you type in the infographics show or jacksepticeye then it should pop up it should be like the first or second video but uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one take care bye bye uh be sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one all right bye